It's the Faceless Caseworker, man. We back at it again, man. This video is about JT from the City Girls and why you should never listen to a hip-hop artist. The reason why? Because it's all entertainment, people. It's all entertainment. City Girls JT recently stated that she tattooed her boyfriend Little Uzi Vert's name on her body. The fans, of course, came at her and said, Wait a minute. You tattooed a name on your body? Everybody in the hood knows. Everybody in the streets know. And everybody knows that you don't tattoo somebody's name on your body, especially when you're claiming to be a gold digger and a money girl and a city girl, as she claims. You're about that bag. Most people who tattoo their significant other's names on their body are usually people who wear their f emotions on their sleeve. So how can you be a city girl, a cold, callous, calculated, money-hungry, chasing after dudes who have bags, don't care about their cars, their jewelry, what they have on, how they look, how much money they got, only if they're giving it to them. How would you tattoo somebody's name on your body? We all know people in our neighborhoods that have tattoos on their neck of guide stuff. And usually those girls are people, you know, they wear their hearts in their sleeve. They meet a guy, next thing you know, they're talking about they're in love. Usually on girls who are trapping, scamming, and, and getting dudes for money. So, it comes down to this. Clearly she's lying. Clearly the whole image of the rap thing is a lie. Yes, yeah, she did go to jail for scamming. But you don't have you can be a scammer and still be, you know, somebody who likes relationships and and, and likes to be and they have a boyfriend, right? So now she's on online trying to figure out got people coming at her, like, wait a minute, you, 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 you've been telling me to go in my boyfriend's wallet for the last two years. Now all of a sudden you are getting the money handed to your boyfriend, you're tattooing his body, his name to your body. So this is what you're doing for the money? Seems kind of simpy to me for someone who's supposed to be, you know, like an alpha girl who's going to get dudes cash and uses a vagina as a cash, um, a cash checking place that she calls her P-U-S-S-Y coins, right? Didn't say it, that's what she quoted. She called it her coins. That's what she pulls out every time she needs to get something. So this is why I say kids, everybody out there, ladies and gentlemen, do not follow these rappers. Alright? People will lead you down a trail path while they're out buying yachts and boats and, 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 and college tuition for their kids. And you're out here running around catching STDs that get chased by dudes because you stole their wallet. I don't think JT is somebody you should follow, you know. Um, I think it's all entertainment. You know, I find the music pretty entertaining. So shout out to the city girls. But I just don't think that, you know, and she'd probably tell you this. Don't follow me. You know, listen to my music and rock it. You know, but don't follow me. Because clearly she has a record deal and a contract and a, and a rich boyfriend. What do you, some of you people out here, your girls have? You work at Target. You're on Section 8. It's about to expire in six months. And you don't know where your next meal is coming from. But you out here trying to book some guy who don't even have it like that. You know, you're trying to book the manager from Target. He makes about $5,000 more than your damn salary. What are you really going to get him? To get you a Birkin bag? You know, he'd need four years of his salary to buy you a Birkin bag. Let's be for real. So, following her advice is probably not the best thing in the world. And that goes to spill on for any other rapper. Don't follow him. You know, if you want to be NBA Youngboy, look where NBA Youngboy is at in jail. He has how many kids he's online apologizing to his last baby mother while he's not outside. You're an NBA young boy. You know, you told them things. You laid people down. You killed people, right? Clearly. You know, you, you got Yaya Mayweather stabbing people over here. And uh, he's not someone to follow. Who else? You know, if you want to follow somebody, and I wouldn't even tell you to follow J. Cole. You know, you might take a, his advice may be a little bit better, but he's, he, you know, what he's doing with his life is not perfect. And we don't know, you know, if he's really truly. I don't know what he does behind closed doors. You know? He could have a cocaine uh, trafficking uh, business. 
in Fayetteville somewhere. I don't know. Not saying he is. So shout out to J, uh, J. Cole. But at the end of the day, stop following these rappers, man. They're not here for advice. You want some advice? Take some advice on the faceless caseworker, all right? I have a couple of degrees. Yes, I've been in these streets, all right? Bounced back, got degrees, went to college. Still out here having a great time. So I'm back, you know, teaching people the right things to do with yourselves. And bottom line, JT, um, it's not someone you should follow, ladies. You know, um, if you're looking at someone to follow, you know, take it back. You know, go back to a church. You know, the preacher may not be...